Good morning, guys. Um, just kidding. I'm guessing I still haven't learned to respect myself on this app, so I'm coming on looking like this, but it's okay. This is the wig that we're going to be working with today. It's an old wig, and I'm sure I've attempted to style it and whatnot. So I'm going to customize it because I'm not sure what I want to do for the first day of school yet. And I think that this would help me figure it out if I accidentally, if I accidentally turned this into this. And that would be embarrassing if that didn't work out. So I'm going to just say if I actually attempt to turn this into a good looking wig. Anyways, I'm not sitting because I don't feel like it. My hair is in braids already. I'm going to do the whole shebang bang. Shabala wala. Shabang bang. Shabala wala. Sorry. I'm quiet because people are still sleeping and these walls are thin but mm, my nose hurts so bad let me anyways i look much better now um anyways make sure you like comment subscribe and let's get into this video i got this wig from china lace wig um i can put their picture up but i'm not really sure if you should go get a wig from there i thought it was a scam and i'm sure I, I don't even know i just i took a chance so i don't really know if they're reliable or not it was an instagram brand and i told my mom and i like pushed her and she was like okay let's do it and we got all five wigs got i don't really if you want a video on that i guess i can make a video showing you all the wigs and i guess no i won't Anyways, um, they, one was a short, one was bangs, 12 inches, one was 14 inches, this is a picture of me wearing it, one was a straight long one that was maybe 20 inches, here's a picture of me wearing it, it looked horrible, Here, one was a curly one, that one was 18 inches, picture of me wearing it, and this one is a body wave. This is me realizing that this was the one that actually looked horrible. 20 inches so i'm guessing the straight long one was 22 or no maybe this is 18 i don't know anyways let me start by bleaching so i'm gonna put the um the thing i'm gonna put the thing on this and get out the bleach and pin it so yeah anyways bang bang show all of them bang bang show all of them now it's all on oh i got this stand from the beauty supply store for 40 something dollars but i'm sure you can get it on amazon for maybe even cheaper Sorry for my failing energy right now. I'm going to fix it later. It's just, it's quiet and I just woke up. It's like, it's like 10. Uh, I'll give myself 10. I got this color because I feel like it's the closest to my skin. And I don't know why the camera makes me look a little lighter. I don't know why it does that, but we're like the same skin tone. So I trust if it looks good on her, it'll look okay on me. And also, I don't have a lot of the stuff that I'm supposed to have, but I just don't feel like buying it first before doing a video because this might not even turn out right. But we'll make it work. Let me go start making the bleach. I forgot. <clears throat> All the tactics or that I know that I'm using are from a bunch of different YouTubers that I've watched. So I don't have an exact name of who to call. But I'll link a few people down below. Oh, this is a protective barrier for the hair the bleach to not soak in because if the bleach soaks into the hair then it'll bleach the hair and then it'll look like kind of like it's not supposed to be there because i know that you can do like a bleach up blonde up here and then black down here but that's not like if it's not on purpose i'm sure that it won't look good and i've done this once and it was all right and you're not gonna learn anything from here because i'm gonna be winging it at, and while this is drying i'm gonna go make the bleach Okay, so to make today's bleach, I'll be using this that I got from Amazon, um, this developer, and this bowl, and this, oh, well, actually, I'm not using that, this. Here, I'm taking a few scoops of the develop the bleach, and I'm mixing it with the 30 developer because I heard that the 30 developer was better for darker skin, 
women like myself. In Cassia Debris' video, she said that it should be thicker than toothpaste, but it shouldn't be too thin to run be runny. So I suggest you watch another video to give you the measurements because I am winging it. Okay, so this is the consistency, and I think this is good because it's not falling off. I'm not sure if that makes it too thick, but I think I'll still be able to work with this. Okay, here I'm going to be applying the bleach, and I just tested to see if the Got To Me glue was dry. But the technique here is to make sure you're not pushing it in the hair because of like what I talked about before with the like reverse bleach or whatever on accident. But yeah, you don't want to over bleach the knots. And I'm not, I'm not even not sure if these uh, knots can bleach. I'm just doing it because I think it makes it look better in my opinion. I, I'm pretty sure I used foundation before and that's why it still has like some tint to it but um basically that's it and oh i also heard that this helps to speed up the process i also heard putting in the microwave helps speed stuff up and probably not be trying that but because i don't really need to speed stuff up that much like i said it's been 45 minutes and i'm not sure if i was supposed to leave it on that long but i did now i'm going to pull out the, the thingy so i can go wash this off with warm water <coughs> these are the knots that's still kind of brassy because i don't have that purple shampoo but it's bleached and i'm gonna wait until this is dry to see if it needs plucking but it already looks like it has a bald spot and that's not even that there's hair there it's just bleach so i think i i may have over bleached the knots of it okay today is the next day and i'm talking about again because i didn't finish yesterday so it's really early um and i just finished taking a shower so i'm gonna my shirt real good i'm gonna be finishing customization of this and i just realized that i had worn this before I just forgot, and this is a picture, and it looked really bad. Now I'm kind of scared. I have it on my head. I'm not sure if that hairline looks realistic. After examining the hair for a bit, I decided that middle part was probably best. The side part is killing me. I think a middle part would look much better if I gave it some volume. Yes, it might not go far that, go back that deep, but I can try to make it look like it does. I don't want to install this wig now. I want to finish waxing first. I mean, I'm gonna make a plan and then come back. Okay, I fixed it. I think there's a little bald spot in the middle, so I might have to use like foundation. I mean, not a foundation powder or something to fix that but um i'll be wearing a middle part and i'm going to i guess create layers sorry and i'm i don't really like doing the bold cap method but i might do that i don't think i don't i don't like what it does i don't think it protects my edges and i think that it gives me a reaction and bump so i might just do it like this but again i can refer some youtube channels that have taught me to do a bald cap method which i did here um and then i'm going to do this method which i have um i can refer a youtube video for that and um i do it a little different but i mean it's pretty close to the same i'm just gonna, i'm gonna show you what i do Okay, it should work. And it's it doesn't work. Okay, let me clarify things. <clears throat> I'm gonna come back later on because I wanna finish my little sister's hair first. But I'm going to use powder to change the color of this. I'm still gonna um Yeah, let me not talk about this later. I'll just talk about it as a voiceover. Um, I also want to mention that an extra bonus to doing it the way that I'm doing, which is not like the bald cap method, um, you save a wig cap. So, and I'm I'm trying to save some wig caps because I'll be using them for my headband wigs 
later on in the school year when I start wearing them, which is going to be like the next week. So, yeah. My sister's hair pretty much done. I look so ugly, sorry. For a bit, so I can show you what I do. My heart starts beating triple time. Um, these products that I'm using were in my full face makeup, like the first time whatever thingy video. So, I'm just trying to get it as close to my skin tone, but not like super close because I explain why later. But yeah. <laughs> It is because I feel like the <clears throat> the wig cap itself is too bronze, so I don't want my wig cap to be like my exactly my skin tone, <clears throat> so that the bronzes from the wig won't like make it like super orange, and then combined with my skin tone, that's like dead to me. This is definitely what my head looks like. I don't know if this actually helps to lock in the color slash makeup, but I just, you know, go winging it. Um, and also, I'm trying it on. But I think what my mistake was, I forgot to concentrate on the actual band thing because that's going to be, like, the lightest part. And that's the part you have to work on more. I'll fix this off camera. Then I'll be back and then show you the result. Oh, my God, I did it. I done done it. And they're, like, the same color now. I just said I didn't want to make it, like, exactly the thing. But I did it. <laughs> Sorry. Can you kiss me more when so young? I can't wait to make these curtain bangs though because this hair is just ugly straight down on me. Yeah, that looks like my skin. I'm giving the girls skin. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want my forehead to be too small. But also not too big, but you know, the purpose of a wig is to shrink the size to fool people, not to show them the everyday look. I'm just kidding, not to fool people, but to illusionize them. I got a horse in some somewhere. I'd even have to use um purple shampoo. Dang, like bald. I overplucked this wig. I kind of destroyed it, so I understand like why it doesn't look too great. And that's something I can't fix now, so I'm not even gonna try. In order to protect my edges and everything, I'm going to slick back my edges completely and basically prep to put this wig on. I ended up using the black one because I think the yellow one says glue or something like that. Well, actually, I don't remember why, but I used the black one. I blow dried this in real time for about a minute, but really, it's just until it's dry. That means I shall still have edges after I finish this hair, so I will never ever go bald. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, it might not be perfect, but that's okay because it's pretty close to it. I got a horse. Okay, what, <clears throat> basically what I'm doing, let me just show you real quick. This is the hair that I've been spending hours, days doing. Spraying it little by little on the thing and I'm taking the comb and combing it back. And then my sister just... Turned on the fan and I, as I combed it back, No, we're gonna do that to the other side. I've um, used the got to be glue and slick most of it back. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> because you look like Mega Mind. You're right. <laughs> I am so scared now. Um, I forgot to oil my scalp, so I'm gonna take this all off and have my little sister come help me oil my scalp. Okay. Okay. So my sister did it, and it felt really nice. So. Now my, I'm sure my scalp won't be dry under this. I'm really only wearing this for three days, but you know, I still want it to feel good under here. I'm gonna try to get as little glue on the um, cap as possible. Okay, let's do this. I can't even tell you the name of the thing. I moved it to, like it wasn't clear at all, but I'll put everything that I use in the description box. Um, so like you'll have the names of the thing, even the glue. But, uh, 
yeah, I think that's all I have to say. If there was anything else, I forgot. So, you know, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be so careful when taking off this wig because I can already see my hair like in the forefront of this. And I have a pretty big forehead, so I need all that hair. Don't laugh. In real time, this drawing process took about 41, oh no, a minute for this like one layer. But that's because this layer was also pretty thin. So like the more thin that the layer is, the less time it'll take to dry. Basically, you're just waiting for it to be clear. Okay, now I'm gonna do two more layers, wait until they're like clear, and that's how I know they're, this is not clear completely, but it's close to it. I know this side is clear though. Sorry, I'm so scared still. I still think I'm gonna mess up poorly. Okay, wait until it's clear, then you're gonna just stick up, stick it on, and then I'll be back to show you the finished product because or not the finished product and show you until I put my edges on because I really think that this is just gonna be a video of I'm like it's gonna just be a, like a big get ready with me for junior year you know because I think that would be really cute the most important tip I can give you for this part is make sure no glue is left outside like of the lace when you put the lace down like if you have that glue left down, I've had the worst experience with it. It'll make your lace thing turn black and you'll have a bunch of sticky parts up there. So make sure the lace is in front of the, the thing because you could always just cut off the lace. Not, you know, the taking off the glue is so much more messy. And here I just start to style it and hold it down because I, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm going to take this off now because it's going to be a headache. Oh, dang. That sucks. Oh, that feels so good. Is going to be. I don't have a good reference. Um, but no. Okay, I don't even need to apply that other glue like other places where the lace would be lifting. I don't care that much. Um,. It already looks good like this. And but no. Sorry. I really like R. Arrington. I haven't had TikTok in a while, that's why you don't really know what or what not to call him. It's Arrington. It's not Arlington. That's Virginia. That's in Virginia. Mountain Mamba. That's where I overbleach, you can see. Take me home. It's okay, I'll use mascara and fix it all. Take me home to the place where I belong in West Virginia. My mama has take me home. Queen, what are you saying? Take me home. Okay, that's gonna be the edges for this side. And I'm gonna just twist that up, and then do it to the other side. Okay, I'm about to start styling, but basically what I mean by styling is just cutting it so I can layer it. I was trying to be different, <laughs> or like the other girls, and that's why you can see my face in disgust. But um, I got this from the, do from the beauty supply store, which I'll link the thing uh, no i'll link another place to get it because i can't link the beauty supply store um and yeah so i didn't look at t a tutorial before doing this so i'm pretty sure i did it wrong and i'm just like going ham and you'll see but it doesn't look that bad in the end so i can forgive myself for this but I, every time i get these scissors i just get so scissor happy and i just go ham and forget that there's actually a point to the cutting and so later i'm not sure if i'll put that in but like you'll see that i start just going in but right now yeah and i even mess up so here's like my first screw up
Okay. I think I can go a little bit shorter than this, to be honest. I may have completely screwed up this wig. <laughs> so please subscribe. Uh, I tried to give myself curtain bangs. I might've given myself curtain bangs. Okay, let me go back in with the this side. I'm just gonna Uh-oh. Somebody's gonna be crying themselves to sleep tonight, I see. I think I should go shorter. <laughs> okay, I gave myself curtains. That was pretty scary. This side looks like it needs more chopping. I'm getting scissor happy. This is the evolution of how I mess up my hair. I just keep going and I'm never satisfied. It's great, it's like a process. <laughs> Okay, I cut off the like top of the lace because I finally found scissors after like looking for a few hours. Now I'm gonna get the hot comb hot and try to like do whatever this does. And I just got a new hot comb. This is a small one because my other one broke and I had to pay for it, so this time I got a small one. Okay. It's hot. I could I could I can smell it. It's scaring me to have hot. Again, I'll try my best to link every product I used in the description box, but basically what I'm trying to do is lay it down and then create some height in the front, because like I've seen people do that. Yep, nope, that did not. Another thing about me is even when I'm doing my natural hair, the edges on the, I think, left side, no, right, left side of my face, they always look bad because it's just, that's not my good side, so I just don't really care too much about it. And I'm not using foam the first day because of the fact that, like, it, I'm pretty sure something about the alcohol and the reaction and whatnot it doesn't work, basically. So I'm using my Ebon Edge Control. Okay, I'm really bad with edges, so <laughs> this is as good as they're gonna get from me. And I'm going to use this to wrap it because I can't find my elastic band. I'm gonna curl it. Okay. I'm gonna curl this one. On camera. It's looking good so far. Okay, I don't really care how bad the curls are on the back. Because I don't have to look at them, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, they look like two different curls on different sides. Okay, let me just show you the finished product so I can hurry up and go to sleep. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna take a dark shade, maybe like this right here, this shade, or and maybe mix these two. I don't need some, I need something that looks like at least somewhat brown. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the hair. Now I'm going to wax and do my nails. Yes, I do it all by myself. I'm just gonna, it doesn't look that great, but it doesn't look that bad. Like I can tuck it behind my ears, but I'm going to leave it like this because I think it looks better. My heart starts beating triple time. I hate you, bro. This shit's too funny. 